Hello Virgo, welcome to your weekly love reading. I decided to switch it up again and go with the new Civil Witch Witchcraft tattoo. <laughs> I don't know, you'll either laugh at me or make fun of me, but either way, if I make you smile, it's a good day. This is the Silver Witchcraft Tarot, my brand new one that I love so much, and my Angel Tarot, and I thought how fun it would be to mix them. So, mix them we shall. So, let's start with the Silver Witchcraft Tarot cards. What does Virgo need to know for love? If you don't mind, please hit the like button. Woo! <laughs> okay, what do we got here to start? <gasps> Seven of Wands. Interesting. You know, it's so interesting how these cards, there's multi-generations. It seems to be a, a, a theme throughout the cards. And the Queen of Pentacles, Virgo. That'd be you. And the Seven of Wands, I have to stop and think because with the different cards, she has slightly different meanings. But I always feel like I pick up on what it means. And when I look at this, it's, I feel like they're defending where they are. It's a defensive energy, and I feel like you're defending. You know, there's a dog, a, you know, a German Shepherd, in many cases, we think of as guard dogs. You know, they tend to be like the canine dog for a police. And we have, you know, the planting. So it's like you're getting ready, and you're holding people off. Queen of Pentacles, look at her. I get such a kick. I love these little, I guess, gnomes. And the little bunny rabbit. I just think it's the most adorable. I don't know. There's something about these cards that I find so, I don't know. But the queen, so her queen in this uh, deck, calm, serene, and grounded. She has a clear understanding of the world and how it works and how she works within it. Despite her apparent serenity, she is ambitious and can be overly so from time to time. So... In love with the Seven of Wands, I feel like you're blocking someone <laughs> or something. Or maybe you're, you're so ambitious, you're just blocking love altogether. Which is kind of funny if you're watching this reading. <clears throat> In other words, that to me means you don't really know for certain what you want. You contemplate. And although you are ambitious... Well, that's too many cards. Although you are ambitious... I think you're still interested in having someone with you, which I think that's normal. That's a human. That's the way we are. You know, we can't even make any more of us without another one. Okay, yes, because of science, yes, but you know what I mean. <laughs> the five of wands. Now, I've always find it interesting that in this five of wands, instead of you having five people, you know, who look like they're debating or arguing or fighting, you have four people who are holding hands who appear to be getting along and two cats fighting down here so to me <laughs> it's almost like um well it's not almost it's a fight and because this is a witchcraft tarot and i think of witches and i think of cats being their familiars i feel like the battle is not exterior but within you know, like the cats symbolize your insides, you know, just like I said before, where you're blocking, but you're here. So you want love, but you want ambition to succeed and, you know, career monetarily. I like it. The Fool. A new start. A whole new start. So while you're blocking, trying to work on your career trying to figure out inside what you would like, there's going to be a new start. So let's see where this new start takes you. Okay. What's the fool all about? Where, where's this new venture that Virgo is beginning? Now, I'm assuming it's going to be uh, love-related as this is a love-focused reading. So tell us about this new start for Virgo. Woo. Okay. Wow. Well, I asked about the new start, and we have the five of chalices, which is the five of cups. That's that one where you feel like 
if you're left out in the cold, like you're just not, you're not welcome. I mean, and she is in between branches with candles around her. So it's still being left out in the cold, the wind blowing. It's just not a nice place to be. But if you notice though, she's blowing out this candle. So this to me says that that feeling like you're left out in the cold, that's, pardon the expression, your fault <laughs> or your doing. And that's why I, this is this goes along with that Seven of Wands concept of blocking. It's not that you couldn't have five full cups. It's that you've chosen not to. And you're cutting off options, I want to say. That's what it feels like. You're cutting off options because there is someone who you have a, a great affinity for. And this to me, this Ace of Wands is... I love the way it shows because there's there's a cat, there's this huge, bright, hot fire, and then there's all these things that we would relate to a harvest. So I feel like this is, you have, I don't know how to say this nicely, but all I keep hearing in my head is you want to procreate, <laughs> which would be my nice way of saying something else. But there is someone you're very hot for, you know, someone you would like to do something with. Um, and I, I believe that it's a possibility because I will take another look with them all together because we got the three of wands. The three of wands is you've set things in motion and now you're just looking to see what happens afterwards. You know, you've done what you could, you made the plans in the two of wands and now, well, what's happening now? And the two of pentacles. Two of pentacles can be about juggling and they are uneven. So there is a certain amount of juggle here. <laughs> and I wanted to look, I am peeking at the book here, right here, this little book that came with this card deck, because sometimes they have slightly different reading, meanings. And it says two, uh, yeah, two of pentacles, multitasking, balance, tight budget, comparison shopping, allocating resources, calm or zen-like behavior, in the face of crisis. So I feel like you have all this fire for someone and you're looking to see what can happen. But I kind of think it, like you're weighing what to do. It, it's almost like you want to do something, but you keep, just keep teeter-tying. I, I like the way it's written here when it says about, um, you know, calming or zen-like behavior in the fight face of crisis. And I think that for you, you know, I was talking to a Virgo and choosing to be alone is not an easy thing. And I think that it's very easy to teeter totter and try to calm while doing this, you know, while trying to be alone. But this does say that you have the possibility of, you know, I kind of feel like, could you be alone? Could you just say, oh, poor little me, I'm left out in the cold, but you're doing it to yourself when you have this nearby and you have the options to make plans for a future and you could do both. I'm going to take this, you know, there's two, there's two readings here. There's the one that says you're going to ignore things and you're going to go with the five of chalices and you're going to blow out any options that you have. You're blowing out basically this candle. You're ending that. And when you end that, you look to the future and you get busy with your work, finances, career. There's the other one that says, you know, you're blowing out the candles and you realize that this, this is just too much. You cannot avoid this. You cannot walk away from it. And because of that, you look to the future and you begin to figure out how to balance this need for success with your want for love and the want to keep this burning. Because this is like, I want you and I want you now. <laughs> so Virgo, let's get you a couple angel tarot cards for your weekly love. And I am so sorry if you can hear that in the background. I have a dog that has some issues. <laughs> girl. Sorry. 
Okay, Virgo. A couple cards for Virgo for their love for the upcoming week. Tell us more about this. What else does Virgo need to know? Virgo. I'm taking the cup. And whenever I do that, it's almost like, I feel like they're like, okay, fine, I'll pick something. <laughs> What'd you get? <gasps> oh my goodness. Queen of Earth. Thoughtful, creative, warm, sensible. Make time for those around you. What did I say? It's a choice. Deal with challenges in a kind and understanding manner. This, and you got the Queen of Earth now twice. You, here, in this reading, twice. And this, what does it say to do? Make time for those around you. In other words, see this behavior? Stop. <laughs> because the funny part is, what happened right after that? This is, this is that reminder. Stop. Make time. Yes, you have an internal battle going on. But you can have this new start. Stop blowing out your opportunities for something new and emotional to walk in. Acknowledge this and fan those flames. Instead of blowing out the candle, fan the flame, grow. This could be about someone who is thinking about, you know, someone that they want to have a family with. Not just grow, but make plans for the future with this person. Look at how beautiful that sky is, standing on a beach by an ocean. And the two of pentacles. In other words, you can do this. It's going to take a little juggling, but you can. So, Virgo, thank you so much for being here. Just remember, no man is an island. <laughs> Truly, no man is an island. Thank you so much. I wish you the best. Take care. And don't forget, thumbs up. <laughs> Bye.